Hello and welcome to another HowToDoTheWeb.com video. My name is Michelle. Today I'll be showing you how to, using your Hightail account, how to uh, create a link for people to download their, um, their recordings that you're sending them or files of any description in a way that has an expiry date on them. So, um, first of all what I've done is I have uploaded the file and I'll cover that in another video on, on how to set up your Hightail account and how to upload a file. Um, but the first thing that you'll see here on my screen at the top here is this PR call with Justine McHale. And that's the file that I'd like to send out to people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little box next to it. Oops, if I click it properly. And then it's going to give me all these new options up here. Okay, and uh, definitely don't wish to delete it. But um, you can, if you click get public link, what that's going to do is it's going to give you an, a link that will not expire. So um, if you are only giving people a certain amount of time or you wish to give them an incentive to download quickly, uh, then you want to give them one that expires. So the way to do that is to go over to the send option. Now you can send them directly and uh, Hightail will send them a um, a file, uh, an email and it will be from Hightail and it will be all very clinical and ugly interesting point of view I have that point of view um, but um, what what we're going to do here is do it as if that is going to occur and then we're going to actually use the link that Hightail creates afterwards so in here I'm actually going to put my own email address so um, there I am and the subject here is PR call with Justine Mikkel. And then I'm going to pop in here that they took um, that they are to download prior to the expiry date as there will be a $20 reload fee after this date. Now one of the reasons you may wish to, to do this is um, on Hightail if you don't you can have a paid account where you have large storage but you can also have a, um, a free account and on the free account you don't have much storage so you don't want to be storing um, for years and years all these old files especially some of these big audio files so um, by doing this it says right get them downloaded and then if you do delete them off your account for whatever reason and somebody wishes you to send them again you can say well I did tell you <laughs> so um, it's because I've uploaded it into my folders um, it has already loaded that to here you can upload at this point from your desktop or select others from other folders um, so if you haven't already put them into your folder then you can upload using that option there um, so I'm going to change this temporary file expiration and it's now the end of July so I'm going to give them till the end of August to download that um, and scroll down to find the save button um, I'm actually going to put in there end of August 2014 so that they know now the subject line that I've put there is actually going all of the words that you put into this part here actually displays when they go to the download page so just be aware of that if you're forwarding it to a friend who's then going to use the link don't put words in there that aren't appropriate for the end user to actually see this is what that end user is going to see 
So um, even though I'm sending it to myself, I'm still making this look professional. So then send the temporary link to that date. You can say that a certain number of downloads, um, you can password protect, that's a paid version only, and uh, ask for verification and things like that. Those are all um, paid versions. Hello, Pussycat. Uh, if you are a paid Hightail user. So then if I click send it, now if you've uploaded from your desktop, then you're going to, it's going to take a while to actually upload all those files. Um, but what you'll see now is it's created this link for me. And if I click copy my link, and then I open up a new window, and paste that link in there and press enter that link actually takes you to the download page so there we have it as you can see the um, what I'm sending is the that file I've got the save or the download options and then there's that information that I put into the subject line the this one was the subject line this was the contents um, and um, so if you give that that link that you got from here to whoever's doing your email out, they can just put that really nice simple little Hightail link into the, into the email and then it will display beautifully when people click on it when they um, go to download from that email. So I hope that has been of benefit for you and if you have any questions or would like some personal assistance with any of this, please contact us through howtodothewib.com.